morning thanks for coming in uh, we we know that earlier this week there's been a number of meetings and uh, now we understand there's going to be briefings can we just recap who met when earlier this week and what can we anticipate you'd remember Brad, Dan, that the ANC's uh, P P PWC provincial working committee in the northwest are supposed to meet the ANC top six last week but they couldn't meet due that due to that the top six was seized with the matter of the KZN killings where they had to meet with the KZN PTT in Durban so that meeting was postponed to uh, Monday, this past Monday, where the, where the Premier or the now Premier was on leave of absence, Supra Muhammadu, and his provincial working committee in the ANC met with the ANC top six. They deliberated over the Northwest issue. There's been a lot of speculation that the president of the ANC basically told Supra Muhammadu that he's been lying to the ANC PC in the province and that he's been mandated and or instructed by the president to resign, and he went against that instruction. So that's speculation, and there's no concrete proof that that discussion took place but indeed we can confirm that the PWC and Supra Muhammad Bilo of the Northwest met with the ANC top six on Monday where these issues of his resignation were ventilated which has now prompted the ANC uh, SG Ace Makashule today to brief the media on the developments that have happened throughout the past two days in the Northwest province. Now should we expect to hear from the president himself we know there's a budget vote coming up in Parliament today Yes, we should uh, probably hear from the president today. Our colleague Annika Larson will be keeping uh, developments on that. And should the ANC SG brief something that's in line with what the president may have, uh, have, have to say in the National Assembly today, it's going to be interesting on how the ANC navigates through these waters. But we can say that the ANC Veterans League in that province, along with the Youth League, Sanco and the SACP, have not minced their words when they said that they want Supra Muhammad Pilo gone as in yesterday. But now the issue comes to the political dynamic within the ANC where there are a number of people who also want the provincial executive committee disbanded that discussion is now going into the ANC NEC this weekend where they will make a, 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 a decision whether to disband the ANC PEC and put a PTT in place or not okay Supra Mahmoud has been the main in the center of everything protests have been calling for his resignation but he's still hanging in there is he the only one who's a problem or as you've just mentioned there are other people who are saying the whole provincial executive committee of the african national congress in the northwest must go well we spoke to sipo dial the provincial secretary of the youth league in that province he basically says that he no longer sees or views the anc pec as a legitimate structure he sees them as a gang of gangsters so goes with the anc veterans league in the, within that province along with sacp uh, led by mato Sambat, who was axed as an mec in the province by supra muhammad Pilo going was the 54th National Conference of the ANC. So there seems to be a huge backlash against Supra Muhammad Pilo in that province. But with that said, he also has his own support, particularly within the Pujanala region in Madibeng. We saw that protest about two weeks ago on Thursday, where they were marching to say that the Premier must stay in place and that he must remain as the provincial chair of the province. So he does have uh, support in the province, but there is also a growing uh, anti Supra Muhammad Pilo faction. You remember that the Northwest has four regions. It's Ngaka Mutiri Mulema, which is the which is the, 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 the Mahai King era. You've got Pujanala region, which is the Rustenberg era. Then you've got the Ruth, Mom, Dr. Ruth Mompati region, which is the Taung era. Then you've got Dr. Kenneth Kaunda, which is the Poch of Struam era. Out of those four regions, there's only one region in good standing, which is Ngaka Mudir Mulema, the Mahai King region. All the other regions were disbanded by Supra Muhammad Pilo's PEC. Is it a question of factions, unity? Because it's, it's from what you've just uh, described, it's like, this is in the governance of Northwest Province is fallen a victim to factionalization of the province's ANC structures. Well, Pradhan, you can't shy away from factionalism within the ANC, within that province. You've got the strong camp of Dr. Nkwasa Zanajlamini Zuma, which is linked to Supra Muhammad Pilo as its chairperson. He was very vocal about his support for Dr. Nkwasa Zana going to the 54th National Conference. Then you've got the camp that supports uh, Cyril Ramaphosa, the president now of the ANC, uh, with the TPC chairperson of the province and the likes of Mato Tazambata of the ANC. But those factions aside, you've got also the collapse of governance in that area. You've got the DG of Treasury, who's just come out about two weeks ago, I remember the political analyst Karima Brown said that uh, wasteful expenditure and fruitless expenditure in that province has risen from 2 billion rands in the past two years to 14 billion rands. So that's one of the cases that Dr. Nkwasa Zanadlamini Zuma, the interministerial team that she leads, is investigating in that province.
So uh, just to finish off, uh, we, we are going to hear from the ANC's, uh, Ace Mahashula, what the ANC has decided mm -hmm. regarding the North Coast. We are likely maybe to hear from the president himself during the budget vote because of the governance issue and that interministerial task team. Do you think, from what you've seen, some Samkele, covering the story for some time now, we are at the end of this political crisis that we've seen in the North West for, since the beginning of, of the year, for example? I spoke to one of uh, Supra Mamabilo's uh, right-hand men, his, arguably one of his best buddies within the ANC, NEC, and he basically said that something's got to give by Friday. Uh, there's intense lobbying uh, taking place behind the scenes. There's no more lobbying for him to retain his position in government. That seemingly is gone. Now the issue is the disbandment or the non-disbandment of the ANC's Provincial Executive Committee. You'd understand that on the eve of uh, when I was in Mahikeng, on the SABC, Supra Mohamed Pilo said that he would be resigning the following day by, uh, by midday. He turned around in the morning and said the ANC PEC, which he chairs, rejected his resignation, which basically sums up that Supra Mohamed Pilo may have rejected his own uh, resignation because he's the premier and he's the provincial chairman of the ANC. So it's going to be interesting on how the ANC finally gets to the final decision on this issue, but it does seem as if a conclusion was reached at the ANC's uh, top six meeting with the PwC. And of the we'll North all West. be watching 